All right, I'm back. Actually, to be honest, I've been battling a little cold, so this is my first day feeling good, at least pretty good. Don't worry, I'm not around anybody. So, I don't know how this is gonna go. I might have to put this hand on another one. I don't know how long I'll last, but here's my first tone. Got a 25, 26, so this is probably a dime. But you know what? Let's see what it is together. Let's do a live dig just to start out. First signal and everything. Now, I've been pretty lucky down here lately. I've been getting silver down here almost every time. I'd like to give me some gold. So, I think I was right. I think I got a dime here. Well, there's my second target. <laughs> that was actually coming up at 15 to 17 and looks like it's kind of a you know, like a little brass i don't want to call it a washer but it's like too thick for that anyways look how small that is so if i'm picking up that there's not gonna be much i'm missing out here guys i should probably tell you how, my how i have my machine set up so i'm actually running it in beach two out here and i have it full blast my sensitivity is all the way up 25 running 50 tone I don't have any threshold on and my separation speed I'm running as a six so one of the reasons why I do the beach too out here even though this isn't salt water there's a lot of iron and I found that the uh, beach two helps to uh, keep me from faults and on that iron I feel like I'm just a lot more productive so that's what I like to do on these lake bottoms when the when the lake goes down so maybe a little tip for you. I think it's better than running park two or something. Well, now I wish I would have live dig that, guys. I've actually shown you every target so far. This is my third one. This is a really nice condition wheat penny. They get down in that muck, and the oxygen doesn't get to them, so it really helps preserve them. Every once in a while, you probably see in my videos, they actually come out. They're still like brass color, super shiny. See if I can get a year on this one. So this one just barely made it. Looks like it's a 1957. There's kind of a piece of smooge on there. Yep, 57. Hey, good start. All right, this place is still producing. It's crazy. I beat this place to death and still gives up stuff. All right, I spared you guys a little junk footage. Here's a 30. This will probably be a quarter, but of course, hoping it might be a silver green. Looks like it's not too deep. I might have been lost by a swimmer recently. Where'd it go? Oh, I was stuck in my shovel. All right, quarter. Cool. Let's see what else we can get. Well, looks like I got me some sunglasses. <laughs> Look at that. I think I found another one of those uh, possible Civil War style bullets. That's crazy. Let's see if this is just like the other one. Yep. I think so. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Crazy. The Montana Civil War. You know, what do you guys think? Last video, everybody said that they thought it was a Civil War bullet. That's two. I meant to say Civil War era bullet. <laughs> well, I just pulled this up out of that hole. So they got me a little bling ring. It's real small. Wash it up a little bit. First I thought it was just gonna be like a, like a washer, but no, it's got the flat inside. That's definitely a ring. Cool. We're getting stuff. I mean, 
no knocking it dead, but nice just to not be on the couch watching TV. Man, I get so old. You know, you lay there for a couple days sick. Man, that's rough. I hate that. So here we are. Funny, so first in this hole, I thought this little piece of plastic -y thing was my target. But it ended up being another wheat penny. Let's see where this one is. I'm just blown away there's still all this stuff out here. Tell you what, guys. You should really get one of these Equinoxes or at least get a multi frequency machine. It's made so much difference in my life. I loved my AT Pro and AT Max, but single frequency just can't keep up with the multi. So that's a 1946. Alright, let's keep going. Okay. Just because of where this is, we're going to live dig it. Because I think it's got a really good chance of either being a three penny or Indian head penny. It could be new, but not a lot of people swim on this end anymore. Okay. Do got town. Oh, we got a penny. It's not an Indian. Oh, just a regular one this time. Alright, that's okay. Just never know. Let's keep going. Hey, I just got my first nickel. Could have been a gold ring, guys. Yeah, let's keep plugging away. Alright, made it back down after work. I only have a couple of hours, but probably add this to the last hunt where I wasn't feeling so hot but look at that big old brass valve look at that over here digging holes I see something hold on let me get this this sounds like trash but never knew Yeah, looks like a little pull tab. Kind of looks like a wallet. What is that? Yeah. A sunglasses wallet? Or is that a holster? What is that? Oh, that's an axe. That's for an axe. That's what it is. Cool. Can you guys see that? I think I see the edge of a ring. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, baby. I think we got ourselves some silver. <clears throat> it's probably not quite as old as I thought because it says 925 in it. So maybe 70s, 80s. But I cleaned it up a bit. Look how pretty that ring is. And that never gets old, guys. Never gets old. Well, since I got that silver ring, it has been in a battle with plaid and pull tabs. I haven't found a lot of interesting things to show you. But here's an old uh, motorcycle tag, I think. I think this is 55. Maybe it says 65. Can't tell. You're right, man. So cool here. interesting so I mean that's really fragile so that must have been like on something and it was on like a little cabinet or what that was cool something unique they have something kind of cool here that half dollar Boom. Man, I've been getting a lot of those this year. 72 half dollar. All right, looks like I got me a nice weedy. This is coming up like a zinc penny. 1944. Well, I don't know what that is. 
L-O-C-S, maybe? Not sure. Too fancy for me. Okay, looks like I got me a little bling earring. This is coming up in 18. All right, let's see what else we can get. Hey, hey, look at that. I got me a ring. You know what's crazy? <laughs> I came back for it. I couldn't dig it out. There's like so many rocks down there. I thought, man, that just sounds like something. So, anyways, too bad it's missing the big stone. Although, I'm sure those aren't real stones. This has got to be silver. Yep, I see it in there. 925. Alright, on the jewelry. Boom. Well, I got me a button. I mean, I guess that's brass. Man, it's coming up a 14, though. I'm going to have to test that sucker. Okay, that took some work, but uh, we finally figured out what the year this wheat penny I just found is. It's a 1953. So, I just moved this big rock right here. I'm just getting kind of a faint high tone. I can see it. I haven't seen the whole thing yet, though. Look at that. There's a ring in there. Ooh, it's a cool one. Look at that. Oh, man. I mean, no doubt that's going to be silver, but... Wow, that's really cool for silver. Let me go wash it up. Yep, it says 925 in it. Probably not diamonds. It's probably a pink sapphire in the middle. But if it is diamonds, I'll let you know. It's got to be somebody's wedding ring or engagement ring. Look at that. For silver, man, that thing's awesome. Oh man, I think I just got something super cool. I thought that I thought this was gonna be a zinc penny. Okay, it says Jeep Tootsie Toy. Man, that's awesome. 